Mining pools are great. There are two primary benefits or functions that they offer. First one is a consistent payout. So no matter your hash rate, you can mine into a mining pool and receive consistent payouts instead of um, uncertainty and the probability of receiving or not receiving a Coinbase reward. This is particularly re relevant the less hash rate you have. And the second benefit, as we highlight in our docs article, is that you don't have to set up your own node. And that really reduces your infrastructure costs. So instead of running your own servers, which can be pretty hefty in requirements, you can just connect to somebody else's and receive consistent payouts for that. All you need is a GPU. And honestly, you don't even have to have your own physical GPU. You could use cloud mining. And uh, cloud mining is just renting a GPU. I have a tutorial for that. I will leave a link to that in the description. However, there are two primary caveats. Firstly, it decreases the level of decentralization, and this is a debate we're going to have elsewhere, not in this video. The second one is that all of this costs money, and I mean maintenance of the mining pool itself. Accounting, that means setting up and maintaining the infrastructure, that means the hardware costs and the salaries of people who are working there. So what this means in turn is that people who are choosing to mine into a mining pool have to pay for all that. So they end up having to pay up to 1% of the mining pool fee, I mean, of their profits for a mining pool fee. That is quite significant, especially when the, like, the margins are not very large. So what I'm leading to is that at Coin Network, the developers came up with several features that keep the benefits of the mining pools for even smaller and medium scale miners. However, reduce or bring down to a very minimal scale all the negatives. So firstly, we have work shares in the whole setup. Um, that is a video in itself. I'm not going to go too deep into work shares in here, but those relate to the more consistent payouts for your mining. And the second part, which is what this video is dedicated for, is D pools or decentralized mining pools, which basically allow any node operator to become a mini mining pool, I would just I would say. So there are several benefits to it. Firstly, it allows for more mining pools to be set up, so it increases the level of decentralization. It allows miners to also set up their own and kind of connect to a more geographically optimized pool, thanks to more nodes that are being available all over the world. And the third benefit, which is particularly beneficial for Qua Network mining, not, not so much other chains, is that miners have much more flexibility and customization in their mining setup. So at Coin Network, there are multiple flags in the node setup that miners choose, such as how much of mining hash rate they would like to allocate to Quai and how much they would like to allocate to Qi, because there are two coins in the whole system. And the second one is a lockup period. The lockup period allows you to basically earn mining yield by locking up your tokens for some time, and that can be significant up to 25% of extra Coinbase rewards. So if you want to mine, but you don't have a node and the only mining pool that's available does not lock their tokens, you're receiving the regular. However, you can also connect to a deep pool, choose to lock up your tokens and receive 25% extra. But yes, you'll have to wait 12 months in that case. So not no matter what you choose, this gives you the deep pools give you the flexibility to indeed choose a, a bit easier and also adjust as you go because you don't have to just stick with one. And in most cases, the fee to operate a deep pool, and not in most cases, in all cases, the fee to operate a deep pool will be lower than operating a mining pool. Therefore, node operators who are operating a deep pool can ask you for a very fractional amount of like 0.1% of your mining profits for themselves, which is much lower that, um, than a mining pool would ask you, than a traditional mining pool would ask you. So let's finally go into the installation part. And in here, in our docs, we have a very nice guide section that goes through a lot of the running a node and miner and wallet and everything. In this video, I'm only going to go through a tutorial on how to run a decentralized mining pool or a deep pool. However, we have a very nice tutorial on HiveOS mining to a deep pool. So there it is here. And uh, it is pretty easy. Our core developer worked on it with screenshots and everything. If you're mining on Linux, the tutorial for Linux mining to a deep pool is in the works and will be released as soon as possible by our developers. 
However, we are coming back to the node and that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So it's actually super easy and it's super similar, basically exactly the same as running a regular node, but worth adding one extra flag in the setup. If we go into um, like the tutorial for running a decentralized pool, it tells you that the prerequisites are a network node and publicly accessible port of uh, 8200. That is clear. So we'll also need to switch to a particular branch. So to start off, we'll open our terminal. As you can see and you can deduce, I'm working off a Mac OS. However, you can also run a node on Linux. Most people probably are going to be running on Linux, but the commands are basically the same. And we have uh, the copy paste commands for both of them in the docs. So what I'm going to be doing right now is basically <laughs> copy pasting. We will first go ahead and to the node setup because there are some prerequisites that you might need to install if you have never set up a node before. So if you just go ahead and here and there are uh, the install dependencies part. You pick the operating system here. I choose Mac OS and you choose Linux if you prefer Linux. Copy that and we paste it. I actually already have Go, so it's going to be pretty quick. And now we are going to install the second part. But I'm sure many of you haven't already installed the node or set up the node before if you're watching this video. So all right, that's done. And now we'll go into run a decentralized mining pool and git clone the repository of the decentralized mining pool. And just copy this command literally. <laughs> so once that's done, we go ahead and here is a very nice explanation of the actually one of the main benefits of dpools that I forgot to mention previously. So this is a completely new revenue source for node operators, basically. Here, if you are a node operator, you can launch a dpool and set up a fee for miners to connect to your dpool so that they don't have to run their own node and receive a portion of the new coins that they receive as block rewards. By, de by default, it is set as work share fee 0.1%. This work share fee flag means how much you're going to be receiving as a dpool operator from the new coins that miners uh, mine. It is said to be competitive in comparison to centralized mining pools, which, as our docs suggest, can be up to 1% of new coins. However, it really depends on the pool. If you don't want to change this 0.1% and you would like to start with the 0.1%, you can just omit this flag or you can choose if you are a little bit more greedy. Let's say I'm a bit more greedy and I would like 0.2% because there is nobody else running a deep pool and all the centralized mining pools are 1%. So I'll just go ahead and request 0.5. It's still cheaper for miners, so they will likely choose me. <laughs> Um, but anyways, it is up to you and um, it is set up in the start command flag and it's super easy. So to start your node, we're, because we're basically right here, we copy this and uh, in the start command, uh, you'll need to do some configuration actually. So let me create a node. So it's easier for me to show you in the note rather than a, a code editor. And uh, as you can see here, there are a bunch of flags other than the start itself. So there are Quai Coinbase addresses and Qi Coinbase addresses, which you will get from our Pelagos wallet. I will show you how. The node miner preference. I will give a brief explanation of what that is. The work share pool fee that is for the pool fee, the deep pool, and the work share fee as 0.1. We can set it up to whatever we want. And all of the rest of the flags are required for just the deep pool operation that allow any miner to connect to you. If you would like a bit more explanation of the flags, you can go back to run a node and go to environment variables, which uh, give you a bit more of an explanation of uh, all the flags. We can actually go ahead and go through all of them right now to make sure you have a brief reference. To start off with the Qui coin basis and Qi coin basis, we are going to open up a Chrome tab. We go to our Pelagos wallet. It first opens up as a Quai wallet. So for the Quai wallet address, we just copy this by clicking on the copy, com uh, copy command and literally copy paste it into the thing. However, the Qi coin base addresses are a little bit more hidden. If you see the three lines, you click on them, then there is Qi mining addresses. You click on that and they're all created as Cypress one. That's the only one that's available right now. So you click confirm. And then you click on the three uh, dots and then you copy address. 
you need the address, not the private key. So you choose whichever one. I mean, honestly, I created a bunch because I was re-recording this tutorial, but you don't have to have this many. You can just have one and always mine it to the same one, whatever you prefer. And that's basically it. We don't need Pelagos anymore, so we can eh, close this tab and uh, choose our node minor preference now. So the node minor preference is uh, uh, basically dictating how much of your hash rate is going to acquire versus how much of your mining is going to cheat. Uh, zero will mean 100% quiet preference and one will mean 100% cheap preference. So you can choose whatever. If you don't know, you can leave it at 0 0.5. If you're only interested in Kwai, let's say I'm a new miner and I heard of Kwai, I have no idea about Qi, although that you should study Qi if you haven't. Uh, you can set it to zero, for example. I will set it to zero just as an example in this video, but you can also set it to one if you prefer Qi fully. And it can be 0 0.75 as well or anything. And then we leave the work share uh, dot pool equals true because it's uh, the D pool specific flag. And the work share fee, as we already explored it, it is expressed in percentages. So 0 0.1 is 0.1%. We can do 0 0.5 because I'm the only D pool right now, so I can set it up as high as I want. <laughs> we'll leave this. We don't touch these flags. And we check if there are any other environment variables that we would like to set up. For instance, the reward lockup period. It basically gives you a brief explanation of what each value means. There is two weeks, three months, six months, and 12 months. And the reward boost that we chose right now is zero. Um, however, let's actually ch change it because that zero is a default value. So let's change it to three. So it's not a default value. And um, we can continue to the next one. The default node slice uh, as well is zero, 00, so you don't have to specify this flag, but I will specify it just for the sake of, uh, you know, demonstration. So we copy the node slices and we paste them here. This will mean that we are mining slice 00, zero which is Cypress 1. Right now it is the only one that's available, so we just continue to the following flag without further explanation. Um, if you'd like to have a bit more insight into like slices and what they mean and zones, I have a video tutorial intro to Kwai, so to say, that I made years ago where I explained sharding and all that. So zones and all the slices wording refers to the sharding infrastructure of Kwai network. You don't have to bother with that as of right now. You can just uh, use the node slices 00, zero and uh, continue. The next one is the node environment and Genesis nonce. So the Genesis nonce is what you set up if you choose to mine, whether on testnet, there is a public testnet where developers can test their dApps and Qi Network developers, also the core ones, uh, uh, test Qi Network stuff. Uh, however, if you're mining for the mainnet, you can choose uh, the Genesis for mainnet. So you choose node environment and you choose it as a mainnet, which is called Coliseum. So you copy it and this is a pretty... <laughs> difficult word to type, so I always choose to copy instead of uh, typing. And then I also copy the node genesis nonce, so copy like this. And um, you choose the one for mainnet, so this is the genesis nonce here. It is also the default one to my knowledge, however, if you would like to make sure at least I prefer to set up all the flags myself so that at least I am aware of what I set up. But there are many flags that are also like just default. So if you're like just trying out that you want a quick setup, you don't have to specify most of the flags. You can just specify your Coinbase addresses and do the copy paste of the basic command. They're also specified in your TOML or TOML file. And let's go to back, um, back to running a decentralized mining pool. It actually tells you that here. So there is a config.toml file where you can set up all your stuff. And it also tells you some uh, other flags that are could be relevant. So this is uh, the final command. And this is basically ready to start. We can close this and paste the command in the terminal. Make sure you're in the right uh, go quiet repository directory and uh, we are setting ourselves to go and it's running <laughs> so this is great this is a 
success <laughs> because uh, before then we had some issues with the docs and I had to re-record this tutorial. So, however, there is a big caveat. Right now I am kind of running for nothing because uh, I am not synchronized to the network. It is very important that your node is synced to the network, not only for yourself, but especially if you're mining a deep pool because you would be requiring a fee for that. So to make sure that none of your miners are mining for nothing, you go ahead and um, into the runner node, uh, the node operations, and checking sync process, progress. So you will have to make sure that you are on the latest height or the latest block of the network so that the information that you're providing is the most recent. There will be a node log where it shows the location prime and then block number. So right now it shows that I'm on this particular block number. So there are three numbers. First one is a prime chain, second is a region, and third one is a zone. So we are looking at the zone chain and we see that it is 6,554. And that is pretty far away from the actual block. So if we go to stats.quiet.network, it will be, let's see how many blocks we're in actually. The current zone height, as you can see, is over 1.8 million. So you can expect that it will take quite a bit of time to synchronize your node from the Genesis block up to this number. So there are several ways you can do it. Firstly, yes, just sync from the Genesis block. As I said, it will take time. Or the other one, if you go back to running a deepool and you go to run a node and into other node operations, you can see here that you can uh, download and sync from snapshot. That's the latest command. So this allows you to kind of go to the latest snapshot that our developers periodically take and upload so that you will start syncing not from zero, but let's say from 1 million or 1.5 million. And uh, it is uploaded regularly to make sure that uh, the syncing process is sped up for multiple nodes. You don't have to use it. You don't have to trust us to upload this. Uh, but many people have done, and it is a very much requested feature. So if you'd like to speed up your syncing process, go ahead and follow the download and sync from snapshot. It is super easy here. You just download an archive, and then you unpack it to your go quiet. That's it. After that, you'll just start your node again. And if you have any questions left, please do let me know in the comments or in Discord. In Quiet Dev or Quiet Network regular Discord, just tag at Veronica Poller, and I'll try to do my best uh, to help you out. But there are some future roadmap features for this feature, <laughs> um, such as automatic discovery. For example, if you're connecting to a depot, there should be more depots available as this feature becomes more popular. You might be able to choose which one is much like either closer to you or which one has the lowest fees. So the automatic discovery will allow your node or I mean, sorry, your miner to connect automatically to the most beneficial node. But that is in development. That is a future roadmap, a very exciting feature that the core developers are working on right now. Um, but is uh, right now, if you're a node operator, go ahead and set up a deep pool. It doesn't cost you anything and it potentially could earn you some money. So Super exciting. If you do end up setting one up, please go ahead and share it in Quine Network Discord and people will be able to connect because right now miners like they are interested in this, but there are not many node operators who are running a deepool. So I hope this video facilitates this uh, running of deepools. And uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Let me know for video ideas in the comments and see you in the next one. Ah, and shout out to Kishore for making me uh, for making me inspired for this tutorial.